Shetke Northwest presents our Protective Driver's Barrier, a how-to guide for measuring pre-installation. We are going to be going over how to measure for your new polycarbonate driver's barrier. Based on these measurements, we will build the barrier. You should have received the following two items either by email or fax. One, a standard bus layout measurement guide. Note, this layout has a driver's stanchion and right-hand entry assist vertical stanchion. For other layouts, contact Ron Scott directly. This is the standard bus layout sheet. These are the measurements required to build the barrier. When completed, please email to Ron Scott. Ron S. at ShetkeyNW.com 2. Template for three tools. Please use this template to make the tools out of cardboard using a razor blade knife and pen. These are the diagrams for the three tools. We will explain how to use these once you have them cut out. You will also need these tools. One, tape. Two, tape measure. Three, a straight edge or plumb bob or a straight piece of steel. As you saw in the standard bus layout sheet, you will be identifying five measurements. We will go one by one, A through E. Please mark them on the sheet as you go. The goal is to measure around the driver's seat's furthest extruding point and connect that between the driver's and right-hand entry stanchions. Measurement A. Measure from the bus body wall to the inner driver's stanchion along the vertical stanchion. Note, if the vertical stanchion has a 90 degree elbow that attaches it to the wall, Include the measurement from the inner driver's stanchion to where the stanchion first turns to the 90 degree elbow. Measurement B. Measure the driver's vertical stanchion from floor to ceiling. Measurement C. Measure from the bottom edge of the horizontal stanchion that is attached to the vertical driver's stanchion to the floor. The cardboard tools. We are going to start using the cardboard tools now. Make sure that you have all three cut out and labeled one, two, and three with the proper markings. This is what we are going for in placing the three cardboard tools along the right hand side of the driver's seat. We will go one by one in placing each tool and show how to adjust each of them. Placing tool one. Move the driver's seat to the furthest back position and raise right armrest. Place the forked end around the floor base of the driver's stanchion. Point the other end toward the left-hand side of the driver's center console. Position your straight edge vertically up against the back corner of the most protruding part of the armrest. Adjust tool one so that the corner of the straight edge is touching the one inch line along the length of tool one. This makes sure that the outside point of the seat and armrest will be contained by the barrier. Tape down tool one to stay in place. Tool two is the barrier door. Position one end of it aligned with either the 11 inch or 13 inch mark on tool one like you see in the picture. Make sure that tool two's edge is right on the edge of the inside of tool one. Point the other end of tool two toward the right-hand entry assist stanchion. It will be adjusted when placing tool three. Do not tape yet. Positioning tool two. Tool two should be maximizing space for the barrier's door. Use an angled straight edge on the driver's seat to figure out where the door should begin to give the driver the most room possible. Use this estimate to help position the end of tool two on tool one. Use a long straight edge to ensure that tool two is pointing toward a spot on the floor that will clear all protrusions off of the overhead compartment. In this case, 
the rear view camera sticks out slightly farther than the overhead. Placing tool three. Position the forked end of tool three on the bottom of the right-hand entry stanchion with the opposite end pointing toward the driver's seat or tool one. Adjust tool two to be placed on top of tool three flush against the edge like shown in this picture. Tool 2's point should still be aligned with the point on the floor previously identified as the spot that can be unobstructed going 66 inches high. Once positioned, tape both tools 2 and 3 down. Measuring D and E. Now that we have the three tools positioned, we can easily get the measurements for D and E. Measurement D. To standardize measurements and materials, we had you mark either 11 inches or 13 inches on tool one. Please write down which mark you had tool two end on, either the 11 inch or 13 inch. Note, if tool two doesn't hit either mark, measure from the base of the stanchion to where tool two reaches when aligned with the corner of tool two to the inside outer edge of tool one. Measurement E. Measure from the bottom of the right-hand stanchion to the point where tool 2 meets tool 3. Make sure to measure from the inside of the right-hand stanchion to the point of tool 2 that touches the outside edge of tool 3. Mark this on the sheet for measurement E. Please fill out your contact info on the sheet along with the quantity of barriers needed. Email the sheet to Ron Scott Ron S. at ShetkeyNW.com. We will email back a quote for the kits. Thank you for your time and consideration. We look forward to working with you and assisting you on your path towards safety. Feel free to call Ron Scott with any questions or for additional information. 503-382-3123.